Today we're talking about the fragrances I wore this week. Please stay tuned. Welcome back, my dears. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you won't miss a single upload. In today's video, we are talking about fragrances that I wore this week. Some of the fragrances I wore more than once, some of them I wore only once, and some of them I actually layered. So let's get started. The first fragrance is Eau de Sans by Diptyque. This is an interesting floral fragrance. It's very aromatic, fresh, spicy, woody, all of what you're seeing in the accords listed here. That's in the scent, but on my skin, it actually came off a lot more green, a lot more earthy, and terribly patchouli-like on my skin. And yet again, a little bit more citrus. So that's Eau de Sans by Diptyque. I do need to apologize for the background noise you may hear throughout the recording. I'm trying to stifle it a bit, but if you hear it, I apologize in advance. So the next fragrance I wore this week was Dolce Amalfi by Zerjoff. This is a fragrance, guys, I really am enjoying quite a bit. Performance-wise, this is great on my skin with projection, longevity, as well as sillage. The notes, you can smell it all. I get the fruits and the spices that are at the top, and then the warmness of the vanilla, the smoothness of the sandalwood. A great take on a citrus fragrance. So this is Dolce Amalfi by Zerjov. If you have tried this, I need to hear from you in the comment section, okay? Let's jump right into the next fragrance, which is Malibu Party in the Bay by Simone Andreoli. This fragrance, the accord says that it's green and citrus and coconutty and lactonic. I found myself getting more of the lime and the rum. So it's like I had a, a lime drink, an alcoholic drink on my skin. I did not mind it because it did really well in temperatures of 100 degrees and above, but I found this fragrance performed much, much better when I layered it with another fragrance. Oh my gosh, I was like, oh my God, talk about a cocktail. Yes, 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 yes. So this is Malibu Party in the Bay by Simone Andreoli. I mentioned layering for the last fragrance. This is what I layered it with. This is Versace Eros Eau de Toilette, not the Eau de Parfum. This fragrance is a chords of citrus and white floral. It is really beautiful. It's very sophisticated, perfect for layering or wearing by itself, has great projection, great longevity, gives a beautiful sillage, and you will get compliments if that's what you're fishing for. I mean, come on, we're wearing fragrance for ourselves, okay? So we can give ourselves compliments. This is a beautiful fragrance. You know you'll be smelling good. It is transitional wear at any time of the day or night. So that's Eros Eau de Toilette by Versace. A fragrance I've been reaching for pretty much all year so far is Petito di Heli by Profumum Roma. If you have not gotten your nose on this fragrance, you're missing out. This is a highly slept on fragrance from this house. Petito di Ali is so beautiful. It is not lacking in personality whatsoever. If you are interested in a fragrance that's coconut um, based but smells different and you want a lot of compliments, get Petito di Ali. So I really enjoyed the soapiness of it. I really enjoyed the cleanness of it, but I also enjoyed the warmth and the tropical vibe that I get from the coconut. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Petito di Ali from Perfuma Roma. I do hope you guys are enjoying this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. The fragrance we're going to talk about is Love Tuberose by Amouage. This is a beautiful tuberose. It's slightly different from other tuberoses in my collection in that it has a little more wet type of appeal. It's like a freshly cut tuberose, a freshly cut flower, and it's got that nice, fresh, sweet vibe to it. On my skin, I got a decent performance of this. There was some projective some projection the sillage was decent and the longevity was decent as well i would give about maybe five hours five to six hours on my skin before i had to spray it again this fragrance brought out the happy in me i think it's the whipped cream in the middle it's just smooth and beautiful i think if you know somebody that's a tuberose lover if you're a tuberose lover you would like this now i don't think it's worth the price i think it's a bit too expensive but it's a great gift so this is love tuberose by amouage 
Before we jump into the next fragrance, I just want to say thank you again if you're still here. So this is Gentle Fluidity Gold by Maison Francis Kirkjohn, and it's one of my absolute favorite fragrances in my entire collection. I love this fragrance very much. I get a lot of compliments when I wear it, so of course that plays into it as well, but I really do love the composition. The accords are aromatic, fresh, spicy, woody, ambery. This fragrance is what I normally wear probably during the cooler times, but I just missed it so much, so I had to pull it out this week. This, for me, performance is on par. It's excellent, projection, longevity, everything. I absolutely love this fragrance. If you own Gentle Fluidic silver or gold, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Another fragrance I pulled out to wear this week was Rose Brick by Tom Ford. This is an interesting fragrance because you normally hear about this during the spring, never really in the summer. It's a patchouli heavy fragrance. It's very earthy smelling and a tad bit spicy. I prefer layering it and I'm showing you I layer it with um, Ansara's Vanilla Exclusive, but I really do like this fragrance and so I enjoyed wearing it this week. So that's Rose Brick by Tom Ford move to another area to show you um, another fragrance I'm going to talk about in a second but let's talk about this real quick this is studio sense fragrances I receive a sample kit and I am still testing you see I'm taking notes and whatnot but I am testing the fragrances that were sent to me and I am enjoying them so far so if you are interested in the video put it down in the comments that you want to see a video on these fragrances so this definitely have been getting some use this is alien goddess i've been wearing this fragrance at nauseam as you can see i just had this fragrance maybe about a month and a half two months and look at that yeah what i really enjoy about this fragrance is definitely the muskiness of it but it gives me sort of a woody beachy tone as opposed to just a floral i love the coconut water in this fragrance i love the vanilla i love the muskiness i really do this puts me in a really good mood and i've had a really rough go at it the past couple of months so if you have this fragrance if you have alien goddess please let me know down in the comments i'd like to know if you love it you hate it what your tea is on it okay now, let's talk about real summer vibes here. This is Valentino's Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. Guys, this fragrance is really pretty in these hot 100 degree plus temperatures. I'm loving it. I'm loving the floralness. I'm loving the fruitiness. I am loving all of that on my skin. It's performing for me. And I got a big bottle so I can spray more. I am getting the kiwi and the mariner and orange on my skin. I know other people complained about that, but I'm getting it. So let me know if you're wearing Coral Fantasy this summer, okay? So now you've seen what I've worn all week and have been enjoying, to be quite honest with you. If you found value in this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button and comment down below what was the most valuable portion of this video for you. I would love to hear what you have to say. My dears, please take care of yourself and each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!